I think Dublin has a lot of uh, to offer in this regard. Um, if you think about the the work that's ongoing in a number of areas at the moment, whether in relation to the Green IFSC, uh, the Greenway, the work we're doing here within Dublin City Council uh, in relation to sustainability reporting, or indeed the work we're doing generally on the Smart Cities initiatives. Well, what we have done with the sustainability reporting, we have um, taken a number of headings uh, in, and in the upcoming report we're going to have 32 indicators which will benchmark the city in relation to its progress. And I think that's very important because we know we have a bit to go. Um, but if you measure how you're progressing, um, I think it will be demonstrated to be quite advanced in terms of the way we're approaching it. And even in the first sustainability report, uh, we introduced this concept of a flagship project and our Kilbarrick Fire Station has, is just about to be awarded the first carbon neutral fire station in the world status uh, in the next couple of weeks. Well, the Greenway is an, is an example of, and it's to use a jargon term of the triple helix, but really it's bringing together third level institutions, uh, local government uh, and business to try and uh, develop a clean, a clean tech cluster uh, here in Dublin, building on our green image, uh, which is very important worldwide, but let's sustain that with practical examples of what we're doing in areas such as clean tech. And uh, we hope quite shortly to have a couple of very exciting projects, whether it's the development of the Innovation Campus uh, by DCU, the Dublin City University, uh, or whether it's a, a very exciting project that looks to be coming to fruition with Glen Dimplex called the Quantum Project. Uh, which is about, uh, I suppose, ensuring that we're able to use uh, renewable energy to the maximum extent on the grid, while at the same time uh, reducing the amount of fossil fuels that are used in heating. I think we have the edge from the point of view of having such a, um, a well-honed and developed IFSC in the first place. And some of the work that's going on, whether it's in relation to the clean tech cluster, but whether it's the work by government to ensure that through tax changes, uh, through education of people to deal with green funding or green financing, I think we, ha we have developed a good, very good foundation to ensure that the Green IFSC uh, can be a world leader just like our, our existing International Financial Services Centre is. The great thing about the Green IFSC is that it's, it's a public-private partnership. And the IFSC themselves can see the importance of driving this project so as to enhance the offer of the IFSC project itself. And that is um, one of the principal drivers of the project. But again, working with government to bring about tax changes which make uh, the products uh, attractive uh, in funding terms. Um, and working with the city as well because they're they're also going to walk the walk, they're going to green the IFSC itself and 10 companies are taking on that challenge initially uh, and they use something like five and a half million euros worth of energy. So we'll benchmark how they can reduce that uh, and have 7,000 people working in those 10 companies alone. So that's a very worthwhile project, not only for the IFSC, but for the city itself. I think one of the uh, better um, initiatives that has been launched as part of the work in preparing to become a green IFSC has been the work on the education side. Uh, a lot of work has been put in on making sure courses have been established in our third level institutions to give people the opportunity to train in sustainable financing uh, and already we have a number of people with masters uh, and diplomas who are now well educated in this area and will provide very good advice to people who require it uh, for this purpose. On the day we're doing the interview we're launching Innovation Dublin Festival for example. Last year we had grown it to a month-long festival. This year we're curtailing it a little bit in the month of October back to 11 or 12 days but that's primarily because we want to use the presidency as an opportunity in the first half of next year to showcase some of the innovation that's happening here in Dublin. And 
through that network that we have developed under Innovation Dublin, uh, we have some fantastic projects ongoing in the city, smart city projects, um, some major conferences that have been held. As you're aware, this year a sustain sustainability summit was held in Galway in conjunction with the Volvo Ocean Race. And we hope to build that into a European uh, sustainability summit next year here in Dublin. And the City Council is uh, cooperating uh, with government to help to bring that about. We're also delighted that Silicon Republic is considering a Green Growth Forum. All of these events, whether it's Innovation Dublin this week and the Web Summit, which is part of it, or the um, Silicon Republic and Green IFSC Green Growth event, or indeed the Sustainability Summit, are all part of building the reputation of Dublin, the reputation of, of what we see as being the Green IFSC, and gaining us recognition all over the world.